Hey guys, I'm Elias. And I'm Sydney, and we're going to be your hosts for today's shopping live stream. We're here to show you some of our favourite styles for the new season, and we've got some very special guests to help us out. We're going to be talking about investment pieces with stylist Tony Blaze, getting the lowdown on sustainability moves Tommy Jeans are making, and we're talking to the one and only Formula One champion, Lewis Hamilton, about the launch of his latest Tommy X Lewis collection. And we want you to get involved. We'd love to hear what you think and everything you are loving, so please use the comment box and send through any styling questions or comments you have as we go. We do our best to answer them. Also, get in touch if you have any burning questions for any of our guests. Everything we show you today is available to buy and you can shop everything you see here straight from the live stream. Just tap to add to your basket and it will be saved and available for you to shop at the end. So, I think it's time we ask Tony Blaze to join us. Tony, welcome. Hello, Tony. How's it going? You know, I'm looking quite swaggish <laughs> yeah. today, so it's going quite well, it's going we quite well. See. We <laughs> can see. How you guys? You're a stylist and the editor-in-chief editor of Wonderland magazine. That's pretty incredible work. <laughs> Ooh, no, I think you're the perfect girl. person to show us investment pieces of the season. I think I am. I think I, I think <laughs> you are. <laughs> So, I really am. I mean, first of all, what do you think actually defines an investment piece then? So the main thing for me is a piece that you fall in love with, a piece you can wear all the time. You want to wear it all the time. You want to wear it out. You want to cozy up at home in it. You just want you just love looking at it. Yeah. There's nothing worse yeah. going in your wardrobe and seeing something and you're Damn like, it. why <laughs> did I do this? <laughs> why? <laughs> but also, no, an investment piece also when you're styling outfits too, it's things you can like, layer up as well. Like Even with my look today, it's kind of like, Classic press jumper could be laid with a pair of jeans. I could take this off and have, right now I'm wearing it as a dress. It's about buying that piece that can just translate through every single season. And great shoes. And yeah, exactly, gender fluid. These are the Lewis Hamilton ones, so they're men's we as well. We will be talking about later, so no spoilers. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. But no, it's just about being comfortable in what you wear and like mm -hmm. having no boundaries in terms of like whether you're wearing a pair of men's trainers or whatever it is and mixing it in with women's wear. So yeah, it's about layering functional pieces as well. Things are like reversible, which you've got some reversible pieces right now on this rail too. That's always a shout yeah, because then it's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've got this piece oh. here, which is super, super dope. The like, fleecing. Here's what I pulled earlier, but no, the fleecing is great, and then it's obviously reversible with the, like, the nylon kind of. So if it rains, you're gonna be fine because you just <laughs> switch that coat over. Exactly. But then the men's version, you know, this if you've got a bay. Which is your favourite piece, Tony? Oh, okay, so everyone knows in the whole place right now, I'm loving the boots, oh, yeah. okay? I'm sorry. No, These I, we've are been just... eyeing them up all day. It, they are pretty incredible. Killer. Okay. That posture. Wow, look at that. Everything about it, is, right? It's just standing <laughs> pretty. The boots are just really pretty right They're now. Both on the wrong foot. They're swapped over. But they you know? Well, right. <laughs> no, but I just love this piece because it's like everything that we've got on the rail right now, for example, like even with this dress, for example, it's like mm. in the daytime, you could do like an ankle boot, for example, like this. And then when you want to be killer at night time, yeah. you put on the black boots. Woo, switch it up. Exactly. And then, for example, layering it on again, feeling a bit cold. Those colours are gorgeous yeah, for autumn. The nudes, like the navies, you cannot go wrong. And even with that, with a pair of jeans and a jumper, it's just like you're good to go pop on your trainers and you're, you're really it. good for a casual day. But yeah, I'm really loving all the pieces. Another piece that I really, really love is the statement jacket too. Ah. <laughs> uh, the, the boots be uh, slouching over. I promise I'm actually quite good at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but this is a really, really good piece because it's just I love like that. exactly like mm. people get so obsessed with like buying like fast fashion, but when you like invest in a piece like this, for example, you could have like a really bummy day when you're wearing just like a yeah. t-shirt and some jeans, but you pop on something like this, cute little crossbody, like you already look like super, super glowed up. Can that you know turn what into I mean? a slouch as well? Girl, I got you. Know, <laughs> just, you know, drop these little straps and you got a little, you got a little date night, a little clutch, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but there's so many, so many good pieces on her. Even the puffer, we were yeah, saying earlier, right? The puffer, yeah, the mm. puffer is like, You always need a statement puffer. And I feel like sometimes puffers are just too oversized, you know, just drowning you. <laughs> I'm just like, it's wearing you down. You want to wear the clothes, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like this, for example, is a good shape, like good length in terms of like the arm length, navy. Mm -hmm. Signature Tommy like printing, so it's like super super cool. Jeans, t-shirt, everything. Like dress if you're feeling a bit street chic. How would you dress you know it up? I mean? Would you throw it with a dress? Oh yeah, I would do this with a dress. Yeah, I'm kind of weird because I'll do like with, like kind of like a simple kind of dress and then just like some trainers well, if it was in the well, day. The but thing if is, it's... dress is a quite a cold piece of garment anyway. And exactly. It's, uh, you need that puffer to. <laughs> Yeah, just to give it that kind of edge, you, you know what I mean? Just give it that, be warm. give it that swagalicious vibe. Exactly. And when it comes to, I don't know, like some of your favourite key 
investment pieces mm. this fall? Is there anything in particular that you're really into? Is it the jackets? Is it the shoes? What, what is it? I think for me it's the jackets because they just translate really, really well. Even on our rail right now, you see there's just so many different mm. like ways and where we, we can wear stuff. Even with this piece here. We've got the men's stuff here, but it's obviously... I love well, this piece. I think like, women can wear it as well, can't yeah. they? They just look... I could just pop this on right now. Exactly. Yeah. I've got the palette on already. Yeah, you actually I'll already this have. on if I was feeling, you know, a bit and too that, cold. that's soft as well, you know what I'm saying? Super, super soft. soft. I no, love this Kurt Cobain jumper. Which one? This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah that's a super vibe. I've that been is a... Uh, Again, that was from denim. Yeah, that, that would actually look... Okay, Sydney trying to steal my job. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but... <laughs> Sydney's right, though. Pair of boots, some jeans on, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Switch it off with, like, a little mini skirt maybe mm -hmm. in the evening. Same boots, that's given thigh-high realness, if yeah. you have that, that vibe. You know that blazer we shot oh, from earlier? Oh, this blazer, <laughs> yeah. Look, look at this moment with the hair. <laughs> like, hello. This is... A vibe, a very, oh, very vibe. Oh, thanks for making me blush. No, and we're right, live. Right. Oh. But no, I feel like you shouldn't be afraid to kind of like mix in men's wear sometimes, mix in women's wear. Like, mm. it's just, you kind of just... I mean, it. even if you, even a woo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, everyone trying to still... All right. Right <laughs> okay. So All right. Tiny, I'm well, sorry. actually, no, they just, they, they listen to my tip and they realise that men's and women's, you can just wear whatever kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. What, what pieces do you think are the most versatile from this collection? In terms of like versatile pieces, I think sometimes when you stick to a bit something with not too much print is always easier because mm. then it could just like translate to any outfit. Even like with this jumper, like it's super versatile. I'm like loving yeah. burgundy at the moment for like winter. Yeah. So and like that again with some jeans or if you had like some killer like leather pants or something Ooh, like that. Just oh, to kind of like right. make it a bit funkier kind of thing. But a piece like that is like sustainable buying because it's like obviously got the iconic logo in, but then it's like it can be dressed up and dressed down. Do you know what I mean? So like, I love pieces like that. You can kind of see the kind of branding, but it's also really subtle, but you can just know it's a good piece and it's going to last you like a really long time. Okay. Um, so. Sorry, guys. I think you actually missed the beginning of this. The fun of doing lives, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so we are here with Tony Blaze. Ed Editor-in-chief of Wonderland magazine, stylist and creative director. So hey, she's guys. taking us Ooh. through she the statement pieces of the season. You were going in. Yeah, we were, we were so in <laughs> so the if you did, that. You, you did well, I hope you didn't bit. even know who you were, but I bet they were still like, ooh, who oh is? guys. <laughs> I'm styling today. But no, we're just going through some statement pieces, how to buy and invest mm. and how to just be, you know, look after the environment. Yeah, you don't need to sure. buy into fast fashion to, like, look good. It's better to kind of invest in a piece like we were talking about, like the overcoat, for example, mm -hmm. investing in a statement that you can just wear time and time and time again. For real. And That's, you never get tired of it. Yeah, so investment pieces mm. basically themselves can be sustainable, yeah, because you exactly, are just exactly. rocking it for a long time. There's nothing better than, you know, when you put the winter garments away, but you've got them, you know, investment pieces that you bring back out next winter, the next winter. And sometimes you completely forget that you even have them. It's great. It, exactly. It's nice when you refine, like, certain pieces. You go, oh, damn, I have that. Really yeah, cool. and it's still, and I think with the way thing Tommy designs, it's kind of like it's timeless. Do you know mm, what I mean? There's no, nothing 100%. here that you feel like. Yeah, you could rock it's this clean, burgundy. Man, like, even this, like, exactly. this whole preppy vibe. Preppy, preppy shirt. Super, super I love that. Yeah, this. Also, be. that flannel. I really love this. Yes. I love New this vibe. Yellow. I just love how like this quite heavy in terms of like the way it's been constructed, so it will keep you warm. For example, you could wear it as a coat. You kind of button it down, have a little cropped up on the knee if you had if you had like a little daytime cold sun vibe one day, maybe some jeans, some shorts, some joggers, trainers. Could do like a little ankle strap heel or something. And and what Fun. are like when it comes to colours? What are the colours that you're into right now? This seat. Oh, look at you. Oh. No, just no. bare tipping over these Sorry. boots, you know. Like <laughs> colours, I'm into. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, it's my little fashion assistant. <laughs> yeah. Colours right now. This like cobalt blue is like amazing. Looks mm. great on everybody. Super super cool winter colour. I keep saying burgundy, but it's such a good colour as yeah. well. The cream just is just so cosy. Like, it's just so, like, just reminds me yeah, of just man. autumn, winter, and feeling warm and, like, super... It's nice as well. Fun. You've got the fleece with the nylon as well, like... I'm just loving all the stripes. I'm yeah, so am I, so am I. Even this check is, like, super, super... Jumpers. This check is super in right now at the moment as well in terms of prints and patterning, mm. so it's, like... I love think, the little detailing oh, too. I think we've got some questions coming in for you, Tony. Oh, hey, hey. Um, we've got a question in from Holly. Are those boots over the knee? They are, Holly. I think <laughs> they are. It depends how tall you are, but for yeah. me... Boot check, boot check. I mean, Sydney, you're a bit small. Yeah. So they'll de <laughs> no, I'm joking. They'll definitely be over the knee for everyone, even for me. I'm more of a BFG. Yeah, they'll go up to the... So if you base it on me, I'm literally tall as hell, so you definitely... These are over the knee, girl. You'll be fine, completely fine. 
We got a, have we got another question? We've got another question. Wait, can we see the... Holly, can we see the gold boots? Can Love. we see the gold boots? I like Holly. She's you got good taste. You ask and yeah. you shall receive. She's got good taste. Metallics, ankle. They're an ankle. Also, the way they're like shaped in the front will be comfortable. Nothing worse than having boots that aren't comfortable. I've been no, there before oh, and yeah, it's I, hell. I can't imagine what that's like. And then you've got maybe about four inch off the ground, which isn't too bad, and also chunky too, so like super comfortable. Perfect, all in one. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. perfect. That's what you look like. Also, I can kind of wear these low key right Yeah, I, as well, they, they would work. Get a bit of gold. And with the white on. shirt as well, giving us a bit of that, you know, chic, smart, chic casual vibes. chic vibe. We love it. Got any more questions? Another question coming in. How can we go from WFH, working from home, <laughs> look, <laughs> look to popping out for much needed coffee? Tell us, Tony, how can we go from Woofa her, WFH, <laughs> to a much needed coffee? Um, in terms of this raw right now, I would say the best piece would be this dress. Here. Mm. Or even this dress right here. I'll pull this up too. Great length, still feels really cozy, like it's not gonna be tight on your body. You could be working, chilling, just like sitting on the sofa on your computer. When coffee, when that coffee hunger strikes, pop Scoot on some trainers, away. pop on whatever you want and just run out really. And they're just great shapes. That's why I feel like we we'll always wear something that's quite comfortable but mm -hmm. still kind of cute at the same time. And I feel that's like these it. are the vibes. And then facts. Well, thank you so much, Tony, for joining us today. Up next, we'll be talking to Wilson and Doina about sustainability. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Wilson and Doina, tuning in. Are you there, Doina and Wilson? Hey, how are you? Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Long time no see. Um, why don't yeah, you both tell us a little bit about yourselves and what you do? First to Doina. Hi everyone, my name is Doina and um, I am an influencer, creative, sustainability advocate, which has taken me also into sustainability consulting. Um, I try to work as an ambassador for as many sustainability projects that I can, charities, non-government organizations. So kind of like my passion is sustainability and creativity to put it in short. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's not. <laughs> and over to you, Wilson. Uh, yes, uh, so I'm Wilson. I work as an artist, a writer. I do a lot of work around sustainability and fashion and beyond. And I've also co-founded this social change initiative called Regenerative Futures, which is focused on bridging the intergenerational intergenerational gap uh, through collaboration and conversation. Amazing. Yeah, Wilson. Well, We're very absolutely. lucky to have you join yeah. us. Well, I mean, first question for Wilson. You're up first. <laughs> so when it comes to sustainability, obviously it's um, a word that we're hearing way more frequently now. And I feel like some people might not actually realize what it truly means and what actually does make something sustainable. So how would you kind of, you know, summarize that? What does make something sustainable? Uh, so that's a very broad uh, answer. <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> Sustainability isn't simply the same here as it would be in Australia. It's mm. not the same in India as it would be in Brazil. It's it's specific to the region that you're in, and maybe it can relate to uh, transport time and how maybe emissions that come from that. It can be related to the materials that are grown locally and, and what type of effect that has on the local environment. It could be related to the mindset and how, how much you... Um, how much clothes you purchase and, and how long you have them for and what you do after you you let go of them or how you come into contact. So it, it's a very broad and far-reaching uh, topic, but you can dip in at wherever you feel comfortable and go and start from there. I think the great thing about it is there's so many different access points for people to become sustainable because, like you said, it was, it's so broad. At least, you know, there is something that you can do in some form to, to contribute, which I think is, is great. I've got a question for Joyner. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've got a question for Joyner. Um, have you seen a change in the fashion industry with regards to sustainability? It's definitely slowly changing, and I say slowly in a slow manner. I think, you know, the great thing right now is that 
in my mind, sustainability has become a sort of trend, which is amazing because I think brands are really kind of trying to um, give it more attention, invest in it. My only worry is that it doesn't stay a trend. I hope it's not you know, a temporary thing. And I hope that we don't all forget in say a year, the sustainability has to stay here. So that's that's kind of my, my worry. But I think we as consumers will just keep demanding that from brands and brands as well can see that we're spending money more where, where we know there is good ethics behind it. There is a sustainability care behind it. So I'm hoping that there's actually a positive future, slow but positive future for the fashion industry. No, I but do, you want to, do, do you have any tips to be sustainable or like to maintain being sustainable so it's not just a trend to join us? I think, <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking about sustainability, it's basically rethinking your whole sort of, let's say, behaviour as a consumer. I think it's about approaching everything as you guys were speaking before, actually, as an investment, as something that's, that's there to stay, even once we're gone, something we can pass down to other generations, we can give to other people, you know, pieces that um, aren't just bought to be thrown out, again, as strands. There are pieces whose lifespan can be extended either by upcycling or recycling and so on and so forth. So for sure, I think about, it's about stopping for a second and just give it an extra thought because there's so much purchasing that we do that's just kind of, you know, passionate and uh, fleeting. So I think, you know, stop for a second, ask yourself why you're buying it, whether it's worth it, and then buy it. Yeah, fan fantastic. I think as we were speaking just uh, previously about um, how important it is for brands uh, to take sustainability, I think it's great that even though it is moving slowly, you know, brands are applying themselves to this and being more conscious of it. I mean, like even now with the Tommy Jeans and the 100% um, recycled program, which is, which is amazing, because I know that denim actually takes up so much uh, water when you, when you wash it. And the other thing is with their um, Tommy Hilfiger's uh, other program as well, where they basically say within the next 10 years, they're going to commit themselves to um, a full sustainable cycle. So that's not just the garment mm. itself. Obviously, we've got recycled denim here, we've got 100% organic cotton awesome. here as well, but it's not just the, the materials when it comes to sustainability, as you were you know, mentioning before, Wilson, there's so many more things to it. You know, there's the, there's the, the transportation and this and that and everything. So I think it's, it's great by 2030 that Tommy Hilfiger is saying that they're, so all of their collections are gonna be sustainable 360, which is, which is great and I think it sets a good example for other brands to, you know, push forward and, and make these commitments as well. That leads on to our next question. Right. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, well, we just already asked, what le so, what, so what, how, what's the, like, kind of the, the beginning steps of how you can be become more sustainable? Is it choosing where you shop or what, what is it? Wilson? Uh, so for me, um... Before it came a thing about where I purchased and everything, it, I think the most important thing was it was that it became a change of mindset because how we act with regards to purchasing clothes and, and what uh, the driving forces are for that uh, can be similar and how we choose to do various stuff, whether that's maybe overconsumption of, of social media or various other things. So the first thing for me was I thought, remember where I actually got this from but it's helped massively and it was to ask the question why five times with regards to every decision I was doing and it can be very applicable to clothes as well so it's like why do I want to buy this material why why is that my answer and so on and so forth and then by maybe even the third or fourth uh, why you kind of get a clear answer as to whether or not this is something that you really want to invest in for the long term or it's just something that you're driven to just by an mm. impulse or something. So that's really helped me out with regards to approaching sustainability. I think that's a really, really great way to think about it because you're right in the sense of it, it's a mindset. And I think you saying about that technique of asking yourself five times like that, you know, I, I would have never thought of something yeah. like that. And I think that's something that's, you know, even myself, I'm going to take, take on board because, you know, how can you, you make a change or you know, make a positive impact if it doesn't start with just the way that you think about yeah. things. And I think that that's a great way to, to start for everybody.
So thank you so much for having for for coming on, Doina and Wilson. Thank you so much. You've been amazing, yeah, and you've you uh, and we've taken a lot on board. <laughs> For real though, like definitely, I think what you guys are doing is amazing. Uh, keep pushing and pioneering in your in your fields and being amazing advocates and inspiring people like myself to, you know, take this even more seriously and everybody else hopefully that's watching. So thank you guys. Have a blessed up evening. Thank you for having us. <laughs> and thank, thank you to Tommy Hilfiger for giving yeah. this topic attention and actually getting us giving us the chance to talk about it. For real. Big up Tommy Hilfiger. Thank you guys. See you later. Thank you. So that brings us nicely onto our next topic, the new Tommy X Lewis collection, the fifth collection with Formula One racing superstar Lewis Hamilton and their most sustainable collaboration to date. And we're lucky enough to have Lewis. He squeezed some time in his schedule. I know you're busy. <laughs> and he's going to talk to us basically about the latest collection, which has just dropped. So we're going to have Lewis tuning in. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. So good to see you. Hey, how's it doing? Good I'm, to see you. What? Good to see you too, bro. Where are you in the world right now? <laughs> you know, yesterday I was, I was back in south of France and now I'm in Italy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh nice. Hey. A lot hotter than here. Yeah, because yeah, the temperature has <laughs> dropped. Has it not? Oh, no, is it cold in Italy as well? Yeah, That's everywhere. Just... <laughs> <laughs> so he's got that jacket on. <laughs> So it's all good. Uh, well, Lewis, first of all, obviously this is your fifth collection with Tommy Hilfiger. How does that feel to be launching your fifth collection with them? Honestly, you know, I remember starting out with Tommy and the excitement I, I remember back then, uh, firstly, just from even meeting Tommy and him asking me to be a part of uh, the family and have an opportunity to, to you know, design clothes was already one of probably the most exciting things that, that I've experienced. And from the first one, uh, the, the first collection to now the, the fifth, the excitement has never is not shifted. You know, each time we dive deeper into um, under, you know, understanding each other, the relationship, the collaboration, and, uh, and I'm learning all the time, you know, and it's, I really approach this with as a kind of, as an intern, because, <laughs> Is, a, is such an icon and had you know over 35 years within the within the business so um, I really just utilize this opportunity and so to finally see something you know we we work on it 12 like easily 12 months in advance so I've seen this stuff for a long long time now and it's great to finally see everyone else uh, getting to see it and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's reaction and and ultimately to see how people interpret the looks and how they mix it up Amazing. Why don't you t tell us a bit about the collection? Because obviously we've got the collection here. I I'm seeing this. lots of colour, lots of cosy stuff. You know, what's, what's going you on? Know. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> so from there, actually, one of, the, one of my favourite pieces, that blue top. Um, obviously, we've got the world and we, we, we often use the words, about, you know, loyalty and unity. But this one particularly I'm really proud of because I get to have the British flag, which is naturally where I'm from, but the Grenadian flag is really my roots. It's where my, a lot of my family is from. And obviously we've got the American flag, which, you know, just ultimately just saying that we're all united. We love um, that. Yeah. You know, the collections generally continue on the same kind of streetwear vibe that, that I'm always really kind of working on. on. That's well. I'm going for but, the jacket. Yeah, this one's this one's crazy one. still. It's because both women yeah. and men can wear it, the whole collection. It's great. Yeah, that was that was a you know the goals of this one and, and generally the since the beginning, sustainability has always been since day one, we've been pushing uh, uh, the, I've been pushing the team to try and understand where the, the different uh, technologies we can use out there so we can push this to be the most vegan, most sustainable collection. This is this one now is 80%. Um, or just over 80%, which, you know, has come a long, long way. And the goal was always to get to 100. So who knows whether we'll be doing more in the future. But, you know, there's lots of knits and, um, and layers and, you know, winter accessories, as you can see, like the beanies. And I think, you know, the great coats, new logos. I, I you know, I'm really, really excited about how this all goes together. Um, so what were your, some of your favourite pieces from the collection? Uh, so that, that this jumper. Is, yeah, we yeah this is a cool thing because 
you know, when you get involved in designing, you kind of get a, I personally have felt that I get quite connected to all the pieces. Mm. And there's actually pieces, there were a lot more pieces, but you have to narrow it down. So there's a bunch of stuff that I have at home <sighs> and still at Tommy that people won't ever see. Jeez, all which them unreleased out. samples. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to have the one-offs. But I would say, you know, the puffer jacket is, is definitely one of my favorite pieces. Mm. I would say probably, I've always been a sneakerhead and um, boots. I love outerwear, like hiking boots. So that boot you got there on your left hand, that that is my favorite one there. Um, that is a I just sturdy think the boot. Last, yeah, the last boot we did, uh, it actually won an award for you know, people fully vegan. And so this time we've we've um, really been able to kind of elevate it um, and, and make it even more cozy and comfortable. I'm, you I'm got that extra height. I'm uh, loving the two the two laces as well. That switch yeah, up. Yeah, color. So what inspired you when you were designing the collection? You know what we I, I'm again going back to being I, I get to work with this incredible team that Tommy put together and we're always working on our relationship. And the great thing is we understand each other's style. Uh, for me, I you know, I think being in the fashion world, learning from Tommy. He'd always tell me you have to keep your ear on the ground. So I'm, I'm mm. constantly watching what's happening on the scene, uh, constantly watching shows, seeing, you know, whilst observing trends, we want to be trendsetters nest, mm. you know, most, most often. So um, I always love bringing color in. And I think yes. really with this one, the, the goal is really to make it, you know, gender neutral and make it comfortable for, for you know, for all gender types. and. Um, if you saw the last show we did was was massively mixed and it's all about inclusion. But I think this one was really taking it to, to that next level. And I said, using those pop colors like the blue. Yeah, this is blue. definitely a pop of color. Royal blue as well. I love royal yeah. blue. I feel like it just makes the skin complexion glow. So good good choice there. <laughs> <laughs> like that. You know, the great thing with Tommy as well is, you know, obviously Tommy uses a lot of navy blue and um, the whites and red. They've allowed me to use all different colors. And if you look at our, the, the, the collections, of time, they've all been so, so different. Um, yeah. I really love uh, it. I, 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 like, I can't go wrong with I really want that it. cozy fit. Very cozy. I love that. We do a lot of, there's a huge amount of research that goes on in the, back, in the background. So I usually come with a bunch of images, um, mm. even pieces that I found at stores or um, images of things that, or even stuff that I usually have in my own closet. And I'd be like, hey, this is for this winter piece. I want to switch this up, try and do something with this. And I ask a lot of questions, which is, um, I, you know, can be annoying. But <laughs> the thing, it's good um, to be inquisitive, man. It's the best thing. Yeah. And just, you know, just wanted to push the boundaries. And the great thing with this collection is like, you know, we, as I said, we've, we've made from 100% recycled denim, mm. uh, we've, we've sourced organic materials and you know, really trying to push for that real low impact as possible. Um, and I'm really, really proud of the team for, for being open-minded to because not a lot of brands are doing that. Yeah, and no, I think it's incredible as well, someone like yourself that obviously is such, you know, a figure and a pioneer actually coming to Tommy and being like, yo, this time, let's do something sustainable. And I think, think that's incredible that's coming from you. Obviously, you're such a role model to so many people. And yeah, I just think what you're doing is amazing with it. And I can't wait until it's 100% recycled, you know, you know, when it's sustainable, everything's just all, it's, it's crazy because all these techniques and all these materials are developing. And I guess when you're going into the design room um, like 12 months ago, I bet there's new materials that they didn't even have 12 months ago. Absolutely. And, you know, and just finding new where, new factories and warehouses and really, you know, it's, it's not as accessible as it as, as as perhaps it is for the normal materials, you know. So, really pushing the boundaries, really going out, and as I said, that research team has mm -hmm. been doing incredible. And the goal was really, you know, you look at these great cool brands out there. The goal is to see if we can kind of not necessarily be pioneers because there are, you know, you look at Stella McCartney doing great great things mm -hmm. in the vegan space. But if we can create, you know, sustainable, cool, uh, elevated products hopefully that that can inspire other brands to realize you know you can still get the quality which is key quality mm. and feel and ability is is everything for me so i really like to pay attention to, to detail so 
um, I want to be comfortable in what I what I wear, and I want people that that wear these clothes to to feel that way too. So hopefully, it inspires other brands, you know, shows other brands that you know, no matter which you know whoever it may be, that that, that there are um, factories out there, there are materials out there out there that they can avoid um, the waste, they can avoid the the harm to the environment. Um, Lewis, I believe we have quite a lot of questions that have come in for you. Uh, so oh, really? I've got, yeah, so I've got a question from Nicole. Um, what prompted you to create your own clothing line? Um, that's a good, great, that's a great question, Nicole. Um, <laughs> no, so what happens is if you look at a lot of athletes around the world, they're, um, I mean, a lot of athletes are now getting into fashion, as you can see worldwide, but a lot of athletes, when they, they focus on their career and, and, you know, you, you're trying to be the best in your, in your field. And most of the time you spend all your, your whole life uh, focusing on that one thing. And often, you know, I like, we can't stay in our sport forever. So you have to look at what things, you know, you're passionate about for afterwards. So I started to investigate and go, you know, uh, I'd always been into fashion, but I'd never been to a show. I went to a show and caught the bug. Um, and, and I was really just exploring the creative side. And when I, again, when I, when I met Tommy, he, he created the opportunity for me to come and learn. And often when you do partnerships with people, they often want you just to be the, the kind of the prop, you know, stand there with a product. <laughs> but I remember saying to Tommy, look, I really want to learn from, I want to be yeah. a sponge. I want to learn from your experience and see if this is something I'm actually any good at. And uh, I remember seeing our first collection come out, the, the, uh, the, the, the first batch of clothes coming out and seeing people wear it. And I kind of, I just, I called the bug and I, and I love it. You know, I, I'm we're already doing research for what could be next. Um, and it is a full-time job though, as I said, you know, trying to keep an eye on the trends and, and colors that people will be using. And again, deep diving into what new fabrics that can be. This is something I, I see a, a future in. You know, if you look at most, uh, you know, look at uh, a lot of the, uh, the the designers that have been around for decades, um, it shows that you can be in, in this business for a long time. So hopefully I'll be here till I'm old and great. We've got another question from Edith. What piece does Lewis like to wear the most? Oh. So well, we're, we're ready to pull it. <laughs> um, well, I do like wearing white, uh, bright colors. So I would say uh, that gray, uh, the gray jacket right there. Yes, this, this one. one. This is, just turn it around. You've got the logo on the back. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me get it on. <laughs> get it on. Give me some time. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's test this. And again, just I want to wear one is... too. Can we get another one in, please? <laughs> <laughs> what can I wear? What would you put me in? Um, I was just trying to see what you've got there. Uh, I've got uh, I've got I've got I can't put a whole tractor. I can put I've got I've done my puffer. I think I really like this jumpers. <gasps> this I love this. Oh, that corduroy. Yeah, the yeah. corduroy. Corduroy. Yes, I think that could see you. Turn it on. I love for you too. Put it on. Put it on, <laughs> man. This is it. This is the this is the live Tommy, you know, campaign right here. <laughs> Show, you know what I'm saying? Dripping. You know, there's there's the boots that match that too. So. All right. All right. The boots that match as oh, and they got the same. Yeah, they got the same fleece tail yep. and the back. Yep. What do you think? Uh, that actually works with your outfit perfectly. You've got a great. cream Do I need to tuck it? jeans, you've got that. Love it. <laughs> so in our new outfits, I've got another question for you. <laughs> um, are the sweats relaxed fit or tight? Depends which ones, uh, I guess. They're generally relaxed, yeah. They're relaxed. Cozy. Yeah, I don't think they're too, too tight. I like being super comfortable, as I said, so um, it's generally relaxed. I know this is probably a hard question, but Andrea has given you a question. And her question is, what inspires you the most? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think ultimately, I think ultimately I'm probably like everyone trying to, I, I, I'm trying to live, uh, discover what my potential is, but also just, live to my potential, you know, tap into all different aspects of my creativity. Uh, I love connecting with people and I think probably seeing people 
come together. That's what I really loved about fashion shows and you know concerts as well. You see people from all walks of life. And when I went to a fashion show, that's probably one where I felt most comfortable um, because you know, if I, in my world, when I turn up in fashion pieces, everyone looks at me like I'm crazy because no one is fashionable in my. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, generally wouldn't know fashion if it hit the base. So <laughs> some of the drivers do, but um, most people don't. You're the most you've fashionable got, driver. Yeah. You've got to set the precedent for future <laughs> ones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> but going to these fashion shows, you know, again, seeing all these different people, it just gave me confidence. And I love that, um, that, that you know, this, I like to see people, people's creative outlooks and, and, being people be able to express themselves. So if I can help elevate people and encourage people to do that, that's that's that gives me mm. all the determination and energy I need. I'm actually gonna have to take this jacket off. <laughs> hot. I can't even lie. I can confirm that this jacket is warm. So, you know? <laughs> so I've got another question from Mickey99. This is the last question, and it's actually kind of one I want to know. Lewis, what do you wear at home? <laughs> I'm pretty much this. I'm just casual all the time. Um, I, I don't really dress up too often, and, and that's why this actually really works well for me. You know, being working with a premium brand, it is about comfort. It is you can still be super stylish whilst you're in, in comfort. But you know, I'm traveling all the time, so mm. I, you know, when I'm on planes, I'm always in sweats. So a lot of these outfits you see today that I'll be wearing most of the time when I'm traveling. When I'm at home, again, I've got a dog. I've got Hair is always all over me, so most likely be wearing something like that yellow outfit because you won't see that. <laughs> you won't you see that, the dog hair. Uh, I think that brings us uh, to the end of the show. We've just about ran out of time for today. Wanna Thank say, you so much for yeah, coming on, Lewis. Yeah. It's been brilliant to talk to you. Thank you, Lewis, and, th and, and shout out to all your followers as well for tuning yeah. in and asking amazing questions as well. It's been a pleasure. Well. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed shock sh sh shocking. shopping. I hope we didn't shock you too much. <laughs> we, we hope you enjoyed shopping along with us today. Hit us up on Instagram and let us know what you thought of the live stream. We'd love to hear what you think. We definitely would. We want to hear what you're loving. And if you have any ideas of anything you'd like to see in the next live stream, please let us know. And you can just leave us a comment on any of the live stream posts on the Tommy Hilfiger Instagram. See you next time. Bye. Bye. It's been a minute right now. I've been living that life on the road both times, man. I get in that pound. Music hazy, ten toes daily. I don't wanna lick a man down. OGBH too royal to miss my aim, man's getting that crown. Both times be the king getting queen's head, know that she going down. Watch couple flicks and chill life jacket, make sure she doesn't drown. Got no squares in a circle, so no wonder she coming round. They with the back to the loud, both times so you ear out of speaking them sound. So you ear out of speaking them sound. It's been a minute, take time. Time to turn up, turn up, get way, forget how we end up at mine. But still, I ain't complaining, free big back, I ain't talking about spine. Start is sipping on yak, both types next, she can't give me that wine. We've got mixed with the haze, so you know that man was out of my mind.